Hello beautiful people, what is up? Today's video is another vlog. I am vlogging during this quarantine and it is mostly to keep myself accountable because man, if, if it were up to me, well, I'm still going to work every day, so I will Sunday through Thursday is my work days. Um, so I am still doing that, but I do, I am really struggling with when I'm home just like doing nothing and so I want to try to cap the vlog, keep myself accountable so that I don't just sit on my ass and watch Grey's Anatomy all day and instead do something, whether that's drawing or writing, which I haven't started my book yet, don't ask me about it, um, or exercising, eating right, etc. So this week I am really going to be focusing on my food and my exercise routine because I was doing okay the first week of this quarantine that I didn't vlog, but this week has just not been well. This past week that has a vlog up, if you're interested, it'll be linked. It'll pop up in the corner. Um, but yeah, I just, I mean, it was my birthday also, so like, obviously I ate more sweets than usual. I drank more than usual. Like, normal things that happen on your birthday weekend, you know, that kind of stuff would totally be normal, but I just didn't eat well and I stopped exercising and so that's going to be my really my really big focus for this week is making sure I stay on track as far as that goes because I do feel way better when I eat healthier. I feel way better when I'm exercising. One is because I do have some negative self-talk. That would be meaning like in my head I like guilt trip myself when I don't do stuff which is not healthy and that is not why I'm trying to make sure that I work out. That is just on but at the same time like I know that my energy levels are better I know that I'm better productive and happier and more like I said more energetic if I'm working out so I am going to maintain that this week that's my goal um and uh, I think uh, I can't decide if I want to really put it on me to start um like plot working on this book that I have because I do still have school. I am still going into work, which means I haven't lost like commute time. I don't have any extra commute time or anything like that. And I was kind of hoping that I would be working from home so that I could take that extra hour of hour plus in a day to spend on writing. That hasn't happened and I don't honestly think it's gonna happen at this point. I don't think we're gonna get everybody to work from home, which is frustrating, but it is what it is. Um, so I can't decide if I really want to do that, but that's definitely something to have in mind. Those are definitely like your goals for the week. So there's that. As for today, I'm going into work right now. It's 9.20 almost, um, which means that I will get off work around 6, a little bit after 6, and I do really want to work out when I get home. I think I'm going to do some yoga just to ease myself into it. I'm going to tonight and I need to clean the apartment because it's unless they clean it while I'm gone but I doubt it so I'm gonna clean my apartment when I get home that's the plan those are the two big things oh oh god and I need to do some homework which I'm gonna spend my break doing some of it for at work um and then we'll see from there but I do need to do some homework for the next few days because of some other things that I so, for today, the goals are yoga when I get off work, homework, finishing my online class, getting that done, uh, and cleaning the apartment. And I'm going to write that in my notes when I get to work. I'm going to make my list in my planner. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to get off of this and listen to the podcast episode that Bailey just put up. It is the one of her and Andre, which I have not listened to yet. I was not there for because we are quarantining ourselves, so I wasn't at her house. And so it just went up, and it's all about their relationship, and I'm really excited for you to listen to the rest of it. Good morning. My bangs are doing weird things. I didn't feel like doing them today, so here I am. Wow, it's Monday. Congratulations. It's Monday. Is it? <laughs> um, happy Monday. I uh, didn't film 
anything after introducing this new vlog. I went home. I did do the thumbnails that I needed to do. And I did not work out like I said I would. I did do the homework that I said I needed to do. Most of it. Some of which I didn't do. And I just let it go. And I also didn't clean the living room. However, this morning I did put some stuff away in the living room. So that's good. That's a little bit cleaner than it was when last night. And I did do yoga this morning. I'm going to run tomorrow instead. I had those switched, but I decided I did not want to run in the morning just because it was still kind of cold and I didn't want to. Um, so I did yoga this morning. It felt really nice. I am struggling with the amount of sleep I need these days. Um, I think that if I had to guess, it's a stress response. Um, and yeah, I, I went to bed at nine. So part of it was also that over the weekend, I definitely did not maintain my sleep schedule and I was going to bed really late Thursday through Sunday night. No, Thursday through Saturday night. So then yesterday when I tried to go to bed at nine o'clock, I just wasn't tired yet. And that definitely took part in like, I struggled to fall, fall and stay asleep. I woke up at like 9.40 thinking I had slept the whole night. No, I hadn't. Um, so then when 5 a.m. rolled around and my alarm went off, I was like, no, too tired. So I did end up getting up around 6.15. I got ready and I decided I didn't want to run. I did some yoga instead. So workout for Monday is done. I didn't have my um, smartwatch on though, my Apple watch, because my Apple watch died because I didn't take care of it. It's a lot, like, I mean, it's fine. It just, the battery died because I had it charging on Saturday and then Sunday I didn't notice that it like fell off its charger and like is on the ground and then I just like didn't think about it yesterday and didn't put it on didn't think of anything so it died in 24 hours um not being on its charger whatever so it's charging now it'll be ready for tomorrow but I did work out today so that is good for me um I also made myself a schmoozy because again trying really hard to get back on track with the eating yesterday was okay it was not great i still act a lot my work okay so my work is pretty cool in the fact that we get a lot of free food but with that said <laughs> there's a lot of snacks all over the place so one thing that I did was I took my birthday cake to work because I didn't want it in my house. My dad brought me a huge um, nothing but bunt cake and it's lemon. It's my favorite. Um, and obviously, like, I didn't want to eat the whole cake myself or just like between me, Matt and David, because that's too much. So we had like a slice each the night before and then I brought it to work yesterday. Um, so that was there. And then like in general, our meals when we eat at work is with the kids and it's all very um you know well proportioned and like you know it has a protein a carb and a veggie and it's very well balanced and usually pretty darn organic and everything too where uh, my work is very like high priority of that so the the meal itself was fine it was actually really delicious it wasn't the healthiest of meals the whole point is that they're trying to give healthy ideas of food to kids because some kids are dealing with um, eating disorders so they're trying to make sure to put like carbs and stuff in there as well so it was a grilled cheese with tomato soup but the grilled cheese had artichokes in it and oh my god it was delicious but obviously still had a ton of butter and stuff like that and it didn't have a lot of protein in it because that was um, it happened to be a vegetarian option which I do eat vegetarian a lot, but anyway, not the point. I also, my work always has snacks for staff everywhere. And so in our snack drawer at the house that I was at yesterday, there were those giant, you know, the giant jar of cheese, cheese balls. I had some of those, um, and I had a cookie or two and yeah. So like I definitely proportioned well. Um, and that's a good start, but I still snacked a lot. And then for dinner, I made a Mexican bowl that Matt made some carniceria chicken, which was delicious. My dad dropped it off for us 
and then we had rice and I put cheese in there too. So like food again was okay, but not the best. So I'm hoping that by starting off with a protein shake, I will feel more full in the morning and then I won't want to snack all day because that's definitely been something that I've been particularly really bad with since this stay at home order has started. I don't know what it is. I think that it's just straight up like my relationship with food is like related to stress eating. And so that's all part of it. Like the fact that I'm tired is also to do with the fact that I'm not eating well. I haven't been eating enough protein. There's a lot that goes into this. And anyway, I feel like I'm rambling, but I'm hoping that today will be one step further in the correct direction in the best direction regarding food, I will let you know. I'm gonna kind of hopefully be able to show you like a, a day of eating again. Um, again, if you don't, wa if you haven't watched my vlogs or my videos before, my work is, um, I work at a teen residential mental health facility. So I can't necessarily take video or anything like while I'm there, but I might be able to snap a picture and then um, I can like, Talk about it afterwards basically so we'll see on that but that's kind of the goal so it's nine o'clock I'm going into work my plan for after work um, I did my workout so that's awesome I'm going to double check on my school stuff I think I still have one more assignment to do actually I think I have four more assignments to do but I think three of them are past due whoops so I need to check on those and see if I can still do them. If I can still do them, I'll do those during my break. No, I won't because I can't do them during break. So I'll do those after work, but I can do the other assignment that I know I have. It's due tomorrow. Um, and it's just to read for my interpreting class so that we can have a discussion on it during our Zoom tomorrow. So I need to do that. I should probably edit last week's vlog so that it can go up either tomorrow or Thursday. Tomorrow I need to that's something I need to do. Um, yeah, I think that that's everything though, as far as like things I need to do. I'll probably pick up a little bit more around the house. Uh, I didn't vlog for like a day and a half because, so it's Wednesday. It's been a shit couple of days, if I'm being 100% honest. Um, there's stuff going on at work that I can't really talk about. There's stuff going on, just like the stress of being home not the stress of being home, but the stress of everything we're dealing with, like, as a whole, kind of, like, world, <laughs> the whole world is dealing with this, we all know, um, is stressful, and so, of course, that's going to come out sometimes in, like, basically, I'm, I'm saying that I've been arguing with Matt, but, like, it's just, is what it is, like, we're working through our shit and our own anxieties and stresses, and Basically, it's just been a couple of days uh, in regards to, like, all of life. But I have some things that I wanted to point out because there's some, like, silver linings here. The first of which is that yesterday I was in such a bad mood. Like I said, there's stuff going on. I'm stressed out. I'm anxious. Like, I feel really angry. And there's, like like I said, a lot going on. And so I still decided to go on my run. I'm doing the couch to 5k. It was my last day of week one. So I'm like at the very start of it. Um, I decided to go and I decided to listen to my favorite soundtrack of all time, which is Rent, uh, which is a musical in case you didn't know that. It's great. Um, so I listened to Rent while running and holy shit, my endorphins were like, booming when I finished it to the point where I went from being angry and sad and like not wanting to talk and just like being grumpy to the max to finishing this run and coming into my apartment and like singing aloud which I never do at home like with other people and like just like messing around and dancing around and yeah I had a great time um I had class last night which went well we just like chilled out I um basically just did homework and then uh watched a couple YouTube videos that are were like about weight loss and stuff like that and like eating healthy and stuff and then today 
okay, so this is crazy too. This is the other thing I wanted to talk about. I haven't been reading. I feel like I've mentioned this in at least one of these vlogs, but I haven't been reading. I have been really anxious and all this stuff. All I've been wanting to do is listen to podcasts, whether they be crime podcasts or podcasts that are um, like information about COVID-19. Highly recommend if you're into like uh, listening to facts in order to lower your fear and stuff. There's a podcast called This Podcast Will Kill You. They did, so far they've done a six part episode of COVID-19. They go through the virus itself the illness that we're seeing show up, COVID-19, um, in humans, where they talked about, like, the epidemiology, like, how it spread so fast. They went through an episode of mental health, and they've had other ones, too. So, I highly recommend that podcast and their set of COVID-19 information, if that will help ease some of your anxieties. It definitely is something that I listen to for that reason. But anyway, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts. I've been watching crime documentaries. I've been watching a lot of hilarious cat videos um on facebook and just like dumb like scrolling just scrolling through twitter so often that i keep catching up to the tweets and then being like oh i have nothing new to read so like in my feed not in like a search bar or anything i don't really ever use the search bar same thing with instagram i've been watching the stories a lot and just basically like browsing like doing a lot of browsing with no like no reasoning behind it other than just like wasting my time which is good I'm not saying wasting your time is bad especially in this situation that was what was making me feel better but today I woke up and made tea which I also gave up coffee I think I mentioned that and hello I'm talking very fast clearly the caffeine is not anything I need um I do still drink some caffeine just a lot less than in coffee so anyways I sat down with my cup of tea and went on the computer and like opened up Twitter, opened up Facebook to like scroll mindlessly. And then I was thinking like, this is kind of boring. I'm not really into this. And then I like clicked on the Netflix tab and then realized like, I don't really want to watch anything right now. I don't want to do that. And then I was thinking about the book that I've been in the middle of for almost the entire month of March. And I was like, I really want to pick that up. And so I did. I read for 40, 40 minutes ish before I had to get ready for work this morning and like it just felt so good it felt so awesome I actually just posted an Instagram uh post that like talked about this as well and I just feel really good right now right in this exact moment so I don't know what's going on with me like I don't know what kind of like hormonal shit could be happening to I don't know but <clears throat> I definitely feel really positive Oh, well, I mean, I feel more positive than I have in the past. Shit's still going on in my life that sucks. Uh, I think everyone can feel that uh, because of everything that's going on in the world. But I don't know. I just, I woke up, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed, but then I talked through some of the shit that was on my mind and then was able to read. And now I feel a lot better. So that's where I'm at today. I don't know. Um, today I work, it's nine o'clock now. I work until about six and then I plan to get off work. I, I went running yesterday, like I mentioned, and I pulled a muscle in my glute on my right side. So my butt hurts basically. And I decided I didn't want to work out today because I want to hopefully feel better by tomorrow. I just wanted to let it rest a little bit in the glute is your biggest muscle in your body so it's kind of hard to work out without moving your glute it's involved in a lot so hopefully i'll feel better tomorrow in order to do my next run um and then i can get back to yoga and other workouts on friday but yeah i it's wednesday it's my thursday for my week and going into work um I don't really have anything specific planned for tonight. When I get home, I'm hoping to spend some time with Matt just because I feel like we've been not neglecting each other, but like it's hard because usually we spend some really good quality time together by going out, like going out to dinner or whatever. And like, obviously we can't do any of that. So hopefully we'll watch a show or something together and just spend some time. And yeah, that's, basically it. I just wanted to kind of go through some of these, like self-care is 
is so important right now. It is vital to everyone's mental health. And a lot of people's regular self-care has been undermined because we can't go to the gym or go outside or go to restaurants and socialize, bars, whatever. There's other ones too, but like go to the park. Um, Yoga on the bluff is a big thing in my city. That's not possible right now. So just like going to these regular things that we were doing, obviously none of us are doing any of those right now. Or at least you better not be because stay home uh, if you can. Obviously I'm still going to work because I'm an essential employee, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, like make sure that you're finding things that you can do that make you feel good, whether that's doing some skin care, um, journaling, doing some art, writing, writing, uh, like short stories or a book or whatever, filming videos, um, taking pictures, uh, it's a, like taking pictures of yourself or of other things. I don't know, like go for a run, go on a bike ride with yourself, not with other people. Um, and yeah, just try to like listen to your favorite music and sing along to it. I don't know. Just do what feels good. Even if like going out in your car and driving around without getting out of it. I I don't personally love driving enough for that to be. Well, and I'm still driving, so maybe I would want to do that. Uh, in a specific other different situation than what I'm in specifically, but maybe that's your self care. I don't know. Um, and gas is really cheap right now, so that's good. So, don't stress too much, we're all in this together, and do what feels good for you. And that's it. That's all that you can do right now. And it's going to be okay. Like, it's going to suck. It sucks now, it's going to suck later. We're going to see big things happen here regarding this, but we're going to experience it as one. So, like, if anything good will come out of this, hopefully it's that we recognize that actually, in fact, everybody on this earth is in fact human. And we're all stressed. So, anyways, I feel like I went on a downer right there. But I'm going to get off of this. Ooh-wee. It is warm today. It's now Thursday. It's my Friday. Yay. I'm excited to have two days off of work. That's very exciting. And I get to work from home on Sunday. I need it. I need it a lot. So that's awesome. Um, yeah. So. I actually feel like reading. It feels like coming up for air. It's amazing. I started A Heart in the Body. A Heart in a Body in the World. Can't remember the author's name. Uh, this morning, and I am going to be participating in the OWLs, or the OWLs, which is a book readathon that I'm mostly going to be talking about on my other channel, so I'm not going to talk about it too much here, but if you're interested in reading and bookish things, then you should check out my second channel. It's all about books, and I'll be posting my to-be-read plans for the month. I'll be posting all that stuff on that channel. So that's really exciting. I feel really good about that. It's like my silver lining for the week for sure. Um, yeah, so today I need to go for my run. I need to edit some things. And I need to pay bills because it's the 2nd of April, which means rent is due because even if, I mean, Luckily, with everything going on, me and Matt are, and David, who lives with us, are in a relatively privileged position because we have not been affected as long, as far as losing our jobs in this situation. At least no change to our finances has been made at this point. So we are going to do our part and maintain paying rent um, because we can and hasn't made a change to us, so we're trying to do what we can by maintaining that. Um, so, 
that's just like a little clip there. Uh, so yeah, I need to pay some bills and things like that. And then I have class tonight, so it's my interpreting practice day of the week. So that's really exciting. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get on with my friend and sign a little bit beforehand because that's my favorite thing. And I just get along with her so well. So yeah, not too exciting of a day. Uh, I just got off work, it's about three. And yeah, it was kind of a boring day so far today. But my hair is so purple. I'm still getting used to it. Um, it's definitely like way more purple than I expected. Like it hasn't been this bright in ever of purple. It was bright teal when I first dyed it, but yeah, I haven't done purple yet, so. I don't know. I mean, I like it. Oh, the other thing to tell you in case you didn't see is that I have new art out. So, um, yeah, Matt made me new art for my channels for my birthday, and I cannot believe he kept it a secret because I use his computer to make my thumbnails. Um, the old ones were also his design. Uh, and so yeah, I use his computer to make my thumbnails every day because that's where the like setup is. And he had it on the same um, like service, the same whatever, can't remember the word for it, but the same thing, Adobe Illustrator, I think is what it's called. And yeah, I didn't even notice. And they're so cool. I love them so much. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, so that is basically it for right now. Um, I don't really have much else to say. So I will see you guys when I have another update. Hey everyone, it is now Friday. Wow, couldn't think of what day it was. Mood. <laughs> It is now Friday. I wanted to finish this vlog off sitting down with you guys because I haven't been vlogging very well this week. This week was definitely a rough one for me. Um, but with that said, there were a lot of good things that came out of this week. I talked a little bit about them in the video already that you guys have started, that you guys watched. Um, basically, things are going down at my work that I don't really want to get into, but it's been very stressful. And then I also got back into reading. I've read half of a book in like a day and a half. That's awesome. And I also started a second book. Um, so yeah, just feeling all of that. I dyed my hair this week. It's wonderful. I don't like what my bangs are doing today because they're very clean, but that's all right. And I also got this shirt. I didn't show it off yet because I haven't tried it on yet, but Bailey got me this shirt and it says, just a babe manifesting shit. And it also says that on the back. I love it so much. So thanks, Bailey. Guess I'm gonna finish this vlog off. Sorry that I didn't really vlog all that much, um, but sometimes these things do happen, especially when we're in the middle of a pandemic that no one else has experienced, unless there's some vampires like walking around that we don't know about yet. Okay, that's all I have to say. So have a great day. Make sure to check out my Instagram. I'm posting a self-care today every day right now uh, just to remind us all to like self-care is important. Don't let the stress get you too bad. We need these things and I also have my podcast with Bailey if you're interested in listening. Everything will be linked down below. I also talk about books and everything on my other channel. I will be vlogging next week for that channel for the OWLs. So if you're interested in more reading related content and like books that I'm reading, bookish, 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 all the things books, then you should check out that channel and that vlog will be up soon. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and staying strong, staying safe, staying home and healthy as much as you can. And I'll see you guys very soon with a new one.